everybody. Welcome back to Red Wine and Wit. I am Jody Cordell and <laughs> I am Denny. What's uh, going on? <clears throat> it's a very good night for all of us. It's uh it's Saturday night and the Bucks are going to be playing in the playoffs this evening. So, whoop whoop. Let's give them a big round of applause for making it. Tom Brady and company. Yes. Whoop whoop. Also, in case you didn't notice my special crown I'm wearing tonight, this is my birthday week, so I have my birthday crown on. Okay, so <clears throat> here's a sad story. Uh, we actually shot this whole video without any sound. Yes. Wah, wah. 18 minutes worth. Yeah. Good stuff that we can't even hear. It was sad. We went back and looked at it, and it was like, I don't no! know. I guess we just cut out a lot of the stuff that we, you know. Extra whatever. stuff? We'll just, <laughs> just cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. So, uh, but we do have a fantastic wine that we are tasting this evening, and we're very excited. We have our prop here because, dun dun dun, dun we're going to France tonight. What? Yes. Somebody gave me a bottle of. Bordeaux, like real Bordeaux for Christmas. And I've been saving it for my birthday to open it up. Yeah. So as you can see, we actually, uh, we kind of, uh, Remember, had, this is take, we had some already. Take two. Take two. So yes, we've already, we've already had some of this, but we're going to so, go so through it I again. Think, I think before we actually, okay, so we'll speed through that we actually did a lot of the smelling. Yeah, we did. Okay. We, I'm actually did the, we actually did the drinking. Um, Look, that. Look how know, beautiful that is. We actually did the drinking. Hello. <laughs> um, but so we, 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 we did that. But uh, so we kind of already know our initial reactions. To well, we're just gonna, we're just going to rehash what we, we discovered what we on the discovered. other video with no sound. Ah, oh, it's such a bitch that it just didn't work out. I, I somehow got it um, on mute. And so... All of the sound, except for the sound effects, were muted out. So that video is going to be deleted, and this one will be in its place. So, But I was going to say, we brought chocolates, and we have a cheese board. And I didn't do that. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. It I think did, it's on the air Yeah, horn, it was just so sitting on there, and I guess it just, well, you, you, shook, you shook the... The table and it and it just gave it an automatic. Hey, we had a producer off set that was <laughs> doing this. Yeah, right. Um, no, yeah. we don't even have a producer. It it's me. just us, y'all. It's just us. So, but me. um, <clears throat> so we have this fabulous Bordeaux from France, and um, so shall we go ahead and and sample and taste and take two? It does smell lovely, by the way. Why is it? Why is it doing sound effects? <laughs> the thing's over there. I don't even no, know. But wait a minute. Is it just doing the same thing that we? No, nah, it's a whole new. It's a whole new thing. It's That's a whole new so thing. Weird. It's I even took it, it off. We didn't even do the triangle. It's not even on that. I don't even know. It's I don't even. There. So it's let's just so do. Weird. Let's just do. Oh, oh, there, over there. Just do that. Because <laughs> and we're still. This is still going. So we're still good. Anyways. Every time we get on the thing live, it's like Super a comedy weird. of errors. All kinds of weird things go wrong almost every single time. That's what makes it so fun and exciting. So cheers to that. Here we go, Denny. Aha! Here we go. See, you should have uh, had a sound effect then. It's so good, though. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. It's really, really smooth when it hits your mouth. It just like washes across your palate in this velvety fashion. It has a really nice fruit forward flavor um, with a little bit of like the oaky flavor. Not oaky. It's um, it's supposed to be like, uh, what did I say? Hazelnut. I think it's supposed to be hazelnut, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, it's, it's a real, it's not, because oak is very strong, but this is a real like light wood flavor. So it's very nice. It's a beautiful Bordeaux. We're very excited to have it and celebrate um, this birthday weekend with it. Woohoo! All right, so we decided that it does not work well with dark chocolate. Yeah, we, we tried the dark chocolate like first, and 
It's not so It collides. So great. It's, it does. It's it clashes. working against each other. Yeah, they're working against each other. So that didn't work out so well. So we tried, we've got Gruyere, uh, Wisconsin cheddar, and smoked Gouda on the cheese board. And it actually works pretty good with these smoked ones. Actually, all the cheeses. Uh, in fact, I liked the cheddar one a lot. It was really nice. I don't have to I don't know why I didn't chew it up before I did that. I don't know. And then, mm. and then then I got uncultured. Yeah. And I came in and I says Because we were talking about in Germany. Germany, we used to have things like the the Fleischwurst and yeah. all the other worsts. And then, and then um, in France they, they the, sort of had like their meats. Yeah, cheeses. the meats and cheese boards, right? So they so we don't the, have that on hand. So, so I said Step into a gym gym. He did. It was crazy. Yeah, it's Slim Jims. And I thought um, that's crazy, but go try mini, it. Mini Slim Jims here. I'll give one to you. Thank you. Um, It actually it worked sounds out weird. kind of all right. I mean, remember, it's a Slim Jim. It's a Slim Jim. It's not like Nothing a bad on Slim Jims, but, but we don't not, have any, like, German, uh, summer German sausage, sausage or everything. Fleischwurst, because we can't get that shit anymore. But when you um, bite into this... Snap you, into a Slim Jim? When you actually when you it? drink the wine, it reminds me back of being back in Germany on, you know, the the beer garden table. The beer garden table. Oh, so nice. Uh, worse. And you know, the cool thing about living in Germany was there was some kind of festival or celebration or something every, every single Like right now there's month. there's a festival. Yeah, there's probably a festival. There's probably a wine festival of some sort, like ice wine or. Well, yeah, there's not. a festival. There's, don't a, don't even think about it. There's a festival. There's a beer festival probably. I, I can't wine. open it. I don't know probably why. Wine. You think? Well, I don't know. They have, they're pretty well known for beer too. So and it's winter, so they don't have a lot of wine. Well, they have a winter beer, maybe. They have the winter beer thing. Thank you, honey. So I know it's uncultured. However, it does give a similar effect. It's so greasy and spicy, though. It goes with the meat <laughs> works well. That's what we were saying. The Bordeaux, like the salt and the meat, is made to go with savory well. dishes like steak. Mm. Mm. So we haven't had Bordeaux in a while. Not since Germany, actually. We don't buy it. Where would you rate this Bordeaux at in the Denny meter? Oh, Denny, what would you rate this Bordeaux at? Oh. All right. I'd probably give it a six. Oh, really? Hmm. Why would you give it a six? I don't know. From what I remember of Birdo's, I've had better. <laughs> well, we were lucky. We had some good Birdo's. I mean, it's right from France, right there. The reason why it's a six is it's not bad. It's not. It's good. Meaning that it's not like I wasted my money and I want to, you know, as I drink it, I want to go back into the thing. You know, I'm not doing that. So it doesn't go below the five. Right. But it doesn't meet the seven through eight. If I wanted well, to spit it back ten. into my not glass, the, I don't think it not would Not the seven through ten. Five. It doesn't meet the seven through ten range for me. Well, those are the special ones. Those are the really good ones. We've got some really good ones. Yeah. That's a 2018. Now, this one is not from my Naked Wines collection, by the way. This it's 2018. One is, it is a two, 2018. So it's aged for and two years. It, from? it is, is it from, from France. France. Yeah, it's from Gironde. Uh, Gironde, France. Gironde. I don't know how to say that. France. Gironde, France. Proprietaire à uh, plein sel. But you know, but, you, but, but here's, but here's the thing. Be here's the thing about Bordeaux, right? Just because it says it's from France. Doesn't mean it's good. Right. That's very true. So let's not be mistaken that, well, it must be good because it came must from France. Must be good because it's French. That's like saying that it's a Chardonnay because it came from California. Or it's, it's like good. How many Chardonnays? It's a good Chardonnay. How many Chardonnays Chardonnay. are there in California? And they're not all good. No, that's very true. Now, there's a lot of wines out depends there. Depends on the family. Depends on the... Depends on the grape of the, the year. winery that's been around. I mean, I mean if they know what they're doing. Grows in that area. You know, I have uh, and the year. We forgot about I the have, year. Well, because exactly because the year depends, or like will affect the grapes. But here's my rule of thumb. I like wines between ten dollars and twenty five dollars. It's a really good price range to stay inside. If it's below ten dollars, it's shit. So just know well, that you're buying shit. Um, this one was a gift. 
So I don't know how much it is. When I looked online, I think it was around around twenty bucks wow. for the bottom. So sorry, I gave it a six. That's okay. You like what you like. That's the whole point of this entire wine blog in the first place. Is that people have made it to, out to be like that that drinking wine is for elite people who know what they're doing. But that's some bullshit that you don't even have to even listen to because wine tasting and wine like flavor is subjective. So your your palate's going to be different. Like mine is going to be different from Denny's because. You know, I like what I like, and he likes what he likes. Or so, it could be that I may not just be a Bordeaux fan. You may much. not like Bordeaux that I much. mean, I like Bordeaux, but I mean, it may not be one that I yearn for. Well, I mean, and we don't get to have Bordeaux very often because I remember when I had the Bordeaux and I was in France, and I thought, drinking. oh, they're amazing. Well, because those those were not $25 bottles of Bordeaux. But my whole thing is, less than $10, you're going to get shit. So just don't even do that. Uh, unless you just want to power drink and don't care about the flavor. Um, a lot of things over $25, a lot of it's marketing. Because you're paying for the vineyard, the name, the whatever, you know. So don't do that. And anything that's that's really expensive, that's for collectors. Now, everyday wine drinkers like us, stay between the 10 and 25 dollar range because that's going to be like the majority of the wines they're going to be decent and you're going to find some things that you really like and you can try all kinds of different wines would i pay 20 dollars well, for this one no i think it was just under 10 20. Best. 10 of this but it's a bordeaux you can't find a bordeaux 10 under 10. <laughs> so yeah you're not gonna get a bordeaux under 10. They're going to be in the, the $15 to $20 range most of the time. Some of the better ones are going to be up closer to... Maybe you all would give my better rating if I was actually eating like um, some Steak. kind of meal. Steak. Steak. I think it would go really well with a steak dinner. Because that's a real savory, rich, uh, flavorful meal <clears throat> that this could really complement. Now, what we were discovering is... It doesn't go well with sweet things, and it doesn't go well with things that don't have a strong flavor. So, um, uh, when we were trying it with the, the chocolate, the chocolate has a strong flavor, but the, the flavors clashed. But with the cheese, it was much more complimentary. And then eating it with the, or drinking it with the Slim Jim, oh my God, it was impressive how awesome that was. It tasted so good. And that was a slim jam. I mean, <laughs> that was just a slim jam. So that was weird. I mean, who would have thunk it? He had the idea while we were having the other video. If he would have had some worst from Germany, uh, man, it would have been pretty different. Like a uh, charcuterie uh, board with like olives and right, even like meats summer sausage. and like sausages and like I mean, summer sausage. Like uh, we call cured meats is what I'm talking about. Cured meats and cheeses and olives. Oh my God, that would have been perfect. Yeah, olive might not have been. Uh, yeah, because they have such a really, uh, you know, a strong, powerful flavor that would that be strong enough to stand up with this Bordeaux. Because that's the problem. Whenever you're, you know, I thought the dark chocolate that we have, which is not sweet, would be strong enough, but it doesn't complement the flavor of the Bordeaux at no, all. It fights it. It does. It fights it a lot. You know what I think is most impressive is that Denny's the one that said that. Because uh, I used to think that he was not a wine person. But over the years, I guess, through just sheer, uh, you know, being in the vicinity of the wines and, you know, all the time we spent in Germany and me drinking so much wine and making him try stuff, it's kind of rubbed off. You we tried a lot of wines here. Yeah. Oh, my God. We did try a lot of wines. You know, it's really sad. We lived in California for four years and we did not go on any of the wine tours or do any wine it's tastings because there. It was too expensive. And far. It was really they weren't they weren't close it, to us. Oh the other ones still playing. That's where those other ones are coming from. <laughs> that is you hear us? You hear us right now. This is the flooding That's the one that messed up. Oh my gosh. You should flip over to us. <laughs> You should flip over to us no, talking. No, 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 no. That's where that was that us. Was that's, where the, that's where those other little, little chimes are coming from. That's where they're coming from. 
That's where the other sign was coming from. It was coming from the, the sound effects of the other, other one that we video. did. Oh, it broke my heart to see that that whole video was just toast. No sound. Should Couldn't hear brought, us at all. You should have brought it up as like a little window of, we'll play it for a minute and see what it sounded like or looked like. With, with us just going. Yeah. Look at our beginning. Let's see what our beginning looked like. <laughs> our faces were probably a little bit more um, like authentic because we had not tried the wine until that moment. Because that's why we do this live. We do this live because we pour the wine and we um, taste it live. And then you get to have the authentic reaction. You can see it on our faces whether we liked it or not. You saw it on his face right away that he was like, hmm, hmm. And I thought that was awesome. I love getting that that genuine response, that genuine reaction to the wines. So, Denny, are you hungry? Because you're eating all the cheese. A lot. <laughs> um, so, it's a bummer that that one didn't work out. But we have, I think, pretty well summed up what we uh, discovered in the other video. And share with you our, our feelings about this particular Bordeaux, which is good. We've had better. You didn't give your rating. I didn't. Because I'm still trying to decide. <laughs> See? Six. Six is probably kind of where I feel like I wanted to put it. Actually, I would have gone seven. I would have gone seven because it's really good. It's it's good. It's not awesome, but it's good. It's really good. So, um, and the fact that we were able to, to have a Bordeaux this weekend, he just poured this into my glass. <laughs> so I'll celebrate drinking this Bordeaux, and I will finish off this bottle. <laughs> it's almost gone. <laughs> All right. So come next week, um, Jody will. Reach back to the age of 21. Yay! <laughs> birthday! Yeah, my birthday is Wednesday of this next week. Thank you for celebrating with me, so Toby. I appreciate that. So my birthday is, is uh, Wednesday of this next week. So um, I love January. Obviously, I talked about that in the last week's video. But um, I, I just love that my birthday is at the beginning of the year because it feels like New Year, New Me, right? You guys stop messing around right now. So, um, I kind of like to celebrate birthdays a lot, uh, and I celebrate like pretty much the entire month. So I'm going to be kind of doing this whole celebratory thing. I'm probably going to wear this all month for all the wine tastings, just so you know, if I could get away with wearing it and other things, I just might, I, I just might because th look at it. It's gorgeous. It's a fancy tiara. It's awesome. And this is my birthday, my birthday a month. So why not, right? So next week, I will be a year older. You know what's really sad? You just told me that Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, was born the same year as me. And then I looked, and his birthday isn't until December. So he just turned the same age as me. And I'm about to turn another year older. And that was making me very sad earlier today. But you know what? 21! 21, y'all! I'm 21 again! Woohoo! So, For there's one the at least in there. Umpteenth time. Shh. What? For the. <coughs> the... <laughs> it's, it's a reunion effect, yes. Yeah, but you know what's awesome? Age is just a number, and, and your age is a mindset. So, I feel great, and I love you know, where we are in our lives. So I think it's going to be awesome. But I do love celebrating birthdays because I feel like your birthday is like a holiday just for you. And I'm all about that. Okay. So. All right. So Denny gives it a six. I give it a seven. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. They play tonight, y'all. Hopefully I'm not sad next weekend. Don't say that. Just hopefully I'm not. What do you mean? Because, you know, it's not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. 
Okay, the Bucks are going to whoop up on the Washington football team's asses. They don't even have a team name, so screw those guys. They're going down. That's it. That's it. Either way, y'all, happy new year. It's 2021. It's 2021. Celebrate, Lots of great things are coming. Yeah, celebrate with, a, you know, celebrate every day, every week. Celebrate every week. And don't forget to include some good wines in your mix. I know, Paris, we got to go back. You know, our son still remembers climbing the stairs of the Eiffel Tower. From up the leg. Yeah, one, from of the up, legs, one of the legs. All the way up. All the way up. Well, we didn't go all the way up there. It we didn't go to the here. summit. It was here. And that was a long time. We didn't go to the summit. No. But we were at least there. There yeah. are stairs that go from the bottom to this level, and then there's more stairs that go up to this level. We made it to this okay. level. Even though They have an elevator that goes all the way up to even the top. Though this they does, were too chicken shit to go. Even though this looks like <laughs> not that far up, it's far. It's really far. It took us, like, what? How, how long did it take us to climb those stairs? It was like an hour or something. Oh, wow. It took a while. And our son was only like four. <laughs> but he still remembers <coughs> climbing up the stairs. And it's <coughs> the time. He still remembers the Eiffel Tower. And uh, he loves he loves the, the memory of the Eiffel Tower and, and going up it. So, Okay, so listen. Um, remember, we've changed the date. Maybe that's what I forgot to say in this video that I said in the other video. Okay, so we've changed from Tuesday tastings to Saturday sips. We changed... Um, the day that we're going to do these live because um, it just fits with us better and it gives us more time to to relax. This is a better day for relaxing and chilling um, and drinking wine. So rather than Tuesday, I mean, people who drink on Tuesday, I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to say, but it's better when you were drinking on Tuesday because we can at least relax. We don't have to get up for work the next morning most of the time. So Saturday live videos from now on. Um, Excuse me. Oh, the Slim Jim is coming back up. <laughs> so anyway, if you like this content, um, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The little thing is right down here in the corner. Click on that little thing and uh, subscribe to our channel and that way you'll get some notification uh, whenever we put out new videos. We're going to do this every Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's our live time and you can find uh, like the next all the rest of the ones for this month um for the next couple of weeks are already loaded up on my channel so go check those out click the little thing to get a reminder when we go live next week so but anyway um we will see you guys next time uh if you have questions or suggestions if you have a wine that you want us to to taste please drop that in the comments below we would love to take your suggestions on um, I'm going to go start shopping for wine at the end of January. Uh, I'm going to still do the naked wines things from time to time, but I want to go out and, and find wines that everybody can find, like at Walmart or the Publix here in, in Florida or the Total Wines. You know what I mean? So if you have a wine that you want us to try, please drop it in the comments. We would love to try your wine. Um, if you have questions, Please don't forget to put those down in the comments as well. I love to answer your questions. So uh, we will see you guys next Saturday night. Same place, same time. And remember, go Bugs. <laughs> you like what you like. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. So we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.